Kelsey. Good girl. So Brad gets tired of me giving him a hard time. And we're out on the red rocket, and he dumps me right into the bay. Hi, guys. I won't give you a hard time, Brad, I promise. Yeah. <laughs> this is great. The kids are having a blast. At the same time, they're getting confidence over the water. Yeah, I'm really glad you asked me to come and help out. Well, me too. We're going to work you, though. Sailing, windsurfing, canoeing. Oh, sounds like a real hardship. <laughs> Watch out! Brad. Good dog. It's okay, Kelsey. Good girl. Are you okay? I'm fine. Who's this? I'm Nicole, the one who shouted. Hi. Thanks for your concern, but if I was in any danger, Kelsey would have let me know. You gave me quite a scare. Sorry, but I thought for sure. <clears throat> it's my first day here. It's okay. It takes a while to catch on. I've got to go. See you later. Kelsey, back. Come on, girl. Come on, Kelsey, back. Good dog. Come on, Kelsey. Find the boats. Kelsey, find me. Bring her to me. I feel really dumb. Hey, don't worry about it. I was pretty protective with the kids at first, too. OK, you guys, here's a drill. For the rest of the week, we're going to be getting to know canoes. So Linda and Paul can go with him, and Lori and Steve can go with Nicole. Oh, Brad, can I go with you? Maybe you could switch with Nicole. It's easier if you stick with the person you're used to. Right. Hey, freshly baked muffins. I see our only rose bush has been vandalized. What's up? Oh, it's your wedding anniversary. <gasps> Oh, I forgot. I'm sorry. Nope. Oh, you did something really stupid. You're trying to make amends with JL. Me stupid? Huh. I know it's hard to believe. I do! What are you doing up? You're supposed to be sick. Oh, I couldn't stay a bit another minute. It is so boring. Good morning, Nicole. <laughs> do you feel as bad as you look? Oh, I don't think it's possible to feel as bad as I look and still survive. Here. Grant, that's so sweet. I'd kiss you, but it's too dangerous. Well, then why don't you go back to bed and get well? I do! I'd find right here. <laughs> How was your first day at summer camp? Oh, uh, not so good. I shouted at a blind girl because I thought she was going to fall off the dock, but she wasn't. And then she told me that her guide dog would let her know if she was in trouble. I felt so dumb. Well, guide dogs are incredibly well trained. Grad, I could still feed myself. Did you notice my muffins? I made them myself from scratch, with the help of a major food company. Darling, I know you went to a lot of trouble, but I'm just not hungry. Nicole, you take the muffins. OK. <laughs> Thanks, JL. Hope you're feeling better. I sure hope today goes better than yesterday. See you later. Mm. <coughs> I guess I better call Harbor Air. I do! You haven't eaten anything. You didn't notice the rose. You're worse than I am when I'm sick.
Okay, Kelsey, ready to go to work? Huh? You like it here now, girl? Took us a while to get used to it, huh? Yeah, I like it too. Wish you could tell me if it's on straight, Kelsey. Hey, Laurie, are you skipping camp today? Are you kidding? How do I look? Oh, terrific. Except for that big piece of spinach stuck between your teeth. <laughs> oh, thanks. But at least I have my clothes on. You forget yours? Oh, no. Did I? What'll I do? <laughs> so, you better get rid of that spinach before Brad sees you. Silence. Uh-huh. So you've got a bit of a crush on the older man. Come on, we'll be late. All right, but I think you've got a bit of competition, like Nicole Roberts. I like Nicole. She's fine. Go on, you goofball. I'll catch up with you. Okay, I'll see you there. Come on, Kelsey. Back. Kelsey! Oh, must be really distracted these days. Okay, girl, come on. Find Brad. Find Brad. Lori, wait a minute. You're going after the wrong guy. I look just like Mel Gibson. Mel Gibson's not my type. Well, that's just the back of my head. My face is exactly like Michael J. Fox. See you guys down at the dock. Come on, Kelsey. Come on. Catch you later. So after I finish college, I'm going to go off to med school and specialize in sports medicine. You can't believe what I've learned here. How the people that we call disabled, how good they are at sports. I mean, we didn't teach windsurfing here. And then this one guy, he'd been blind for about two years. He just wanted to do it. So you taught him? No, no, he taught himself. That's terrific. Well, Nicole, you should have seen him. He just kept getting right back up on that board until he could do it. I think I'll go talk to Lori. Lori, it's Nicole. Oh, hi. Why didn't you come join Brad and me at the picnic table? He was telling me about how you guys are inspiring him to go into sports medicine. Well, I didn't want to butt in, you know. I can talk to Brad any time. I know I have a lot to learn, but just before I came and spoke to you, I thought Kelsey was going to lead you right into a stanchion. <sighs> Guide dogs don't make stupid mistakes. Only their owners do. Watch this. Find the dock, Kelsey. Come on, back. Find the dock. I'm sorry, I was wrong. Is this your first year at camp? Yeah, I really like it. Don't blame you. Have you ever been a camp counselor before? Yes. But not at a camp like this. Great, good stroke. You guys are really getting the hang of it. Now, well, let's try paddling in rhythm. All we do is paddle and we're not even going anywhere. How do you know? We could be approaching Hawaii right now. I'm sure I smell pineapples. Right, Paul. You're sure we're not in the Panama Canal? How about the camp dock? Spoil sport. <laughs> Look, I know this is boring, but it's a very good skill to learn. Easy for you to say. You'll like sailing a lot better. Blind people are very good at sailing. They can sense the wind. That sounds a little patronizing to me, Nicole. Hey, I didn't mean it that way. Forget All it. it. Hey, Lori, if you don't lighten up, you're going to sink the boat. Well, then maybe I should get out. Look, be careful, Lori. I can take care of myself. We're at the dock. I just don't want oh, you getting right, bruised. Is everything okay? Calm down. Why don't you both just get off my back? I don't even know what I did wrong. Everything was going great up until a little while ago. Well, I'm sure it's just a matter of Lori getting to trust you. You know, she only lost her sight a few years ago. And it's been harder on her than if she'd been born blind. Understanding her defensiveness is going to be the toughest part of the job. Look out! Kelsey! She's right here. Kelsey, She's fine. Kelsey? Lori! Laura, you okay? She's fine, Paul. Just a scratch. Kelsey, good dog. Good girl. You see what a good guide dog she is? You see? 
good girl, Kelsey. That's a good girl. It's okay. Oh, this cold of jails is driving me crazy. She won't stay in bed. She won't eat, and she keeps complaining all the time about being bored. We ran out of Kleenex at 2 o'clock in the morning. Hi, Nicole. Hi, Dad. She's exhausted, and so am I. Maybe she needs a surprise. Uh, How about I pick up some deli goodies for supper tonight? Oh, I don't know. What do you think, Nicole? Uh, about that surprise, I think you'll give her a relapse. You think so? I know so. Guys, I need some help. Why? Are you coming down with something, too? No. Except maybe foot-in-the-mouth disease. It's Lori, one of the campers I'm teaching. I can never do anything right when I'm around her. Every time I say something, it offends her. Actually, I think there's something wrong with her dog, and she doesn't want to know about it. What are the dog's symptoms? Well, none that I can see. She's had some near accidents, though. Wouldn't Lori know if something was wrong? It's her dog. You're probably right. I'll see you later. Okay, so the canoe's tipped over. You keep your hand on the canoe at all times. Now lean into it. That's right, Paul. Use all your weight. Okay, it's coming over. Great. Okay, there, it's right at itself. Good. Now ease into the boat. That's right, Paul. Can start bailing now. Hi, Kelsey. How you doing, huh? Let me take a look at you. There's a good girl. Nicole? Yeah. What are you doing? This is a working dog. You're not supposed to pet her. Back, Kelsey. Back. I'm sorry. I didn't mean any harm. Look, I feel terrible that we seem to have gotten off on the wrong foot with each other. I was wondering if you'd like to come to my house later. I'd love you to meet my dad. He works at the aquarium. Maybe he could arrange a time for us all to go visit there. Sounds great. Can I come too? Yeah. Hi, Jill. What are you doing up? She's sick. I'm much better. The crisis has passed. It's perfectly safe to be in the same room with me. Although I won't kiss anybody yet. Oh, uh, this is Lori Parkin and Brad Armstrong and Kelsey, J.L. Duvall. Hi, everyone. Hi. Hi. Where's Dad? The aquarium said he was on his way home. No sign of him yet. Won't you sit down? Can I get you some tea or juice? Juice would be great. Juice would be fine. I'll get it. Kelsey is a lovely dog, Lori. How long have you had her? Oh, about a year. That's it. Wonder where Dad is. Should be home by now. You know your father. He gets so involved in his work, he forgets the time. Actually, I'm relieved he's a little late. I'm being treated like an invalid just because of a cold. Not that I don't enjoy the attention. I know what you mean. Oh, come on, Lori. You're always complaining that you don't get enough attention from me. Brad, that's not what I mean, and you know it. People don't understand what kind of independence a guide dog can give a blind person. Once I trained with Kelsey, it was like my world opened up again. I think I'm going to go call Dad. Nicole tells me you have some interesting things from Africa in your living room. Would you mind if I took a look around? Not at all, Brad. Thank you. Well, Lori, do you mind visiting with a much older person for a while? <laughs> I can cope. What's going on, Nicole? Why are we here? I wanted my dad to examine Kelsey. Why? Don't you think that Lori would know if there was something wrong with her? Haven't you noticed the scrapes and bruises on her arms and legs? She's gotten them from bumping into things because the dog isn't protecting her. What other explanation could there be? Look, nine times out of ten, accidents are the result of the blind person's lack of attention, not the guide dog's. Do you think I enjoy having Lori mad at me? It scares me to death to think of the danger she's in if Kelsey is sick. Okay. We'll set something up with your dad. But I only hope you're wrong, Nicole. If not, Lori's heart will be broken. Paul, did you reach your dad? No, I didn't. So, great stuff? I'll tell you all about it while I drive you home. It's getting late. Come on, Kelsey. Well, it was nice meeting you. You too, Bye. thank you. Drive Bye. safely. Bye. 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 Put this on top of you. Thank you. That's right. So when a big gust of wind comes, 
You bend like this. Okay? Great. Perfect. Uh, hello, girl. Hello. Hi. Come here, girl. Come on. I won't hurt you. Good girl. Good girl. It doesn't look very good. She could have a corneal ulcer in her right eye. Of course, I can't be sure until I do a fluorescein stain. Lori, here's Kelsey. Listen. Brad, let me say something before I lose my nerve. Lori, this is important. It's about Kelsey. That's what I wanted to tell you. Kelsey was the first to give me a sense of security. You were the second. I'm really grateful for everything you've done for me. Well, Lori, if you really feel that way, then you're going to have to trust me. There's something wrong with one of Kelsey's eyes. She needs help. What do you know about it? Who put you up to this? Nicole? I would know if there was something wrong with her, and there isn't. You're all wrong. I'm getting out of here. Come on, Kelsey. Find the dock. She got really upset. She didn't want to hear another word. Well, we really can't wait. If Kelsey's eye gets infected, she could lose her own sight. Maybe I better talk to her. Where is she? Well, I don't know. Paul, is Lori on the bus? I thought she was with you guys. Afraid, but she's glad that you're here. Is she in pain? No, not at all. The anesthetic will take effect soon. And remember, it's not as serious as we thought. She doesn't have a corneal ulcer. But it's still bad, isn't it? But don't worry, I'll do my very best for her. You guys want to win outside now? Good girl. That's a girl.
Lori, I'll be your guide if you want. Thanks, Brad. That's really nice, but maybe Nicole wouldn't mind taking first shift. Uh, I'd love to. I'll see you later. Bye. At first, there were blood streaks in my eyes. I was born with diabetes, so the doctors knew what I had. Diabetic retinopathy. But even they were surprised when my sight totally went eight months later. It's so fast. Yeah. You must have been terrified. Yeah. Last few months, I stared so hard at things. Flowers, birds, trees, my hair, my face. Wanting to remember have the pictures, to always remember. My family was great, but getting Kelsey was, she seems to understand what I'm feeling. When I'm with her, I feel safe. Nicole, what do you look like? I know you have long hair, but is it straight or curly? Here. Take a handful. There's lots of it. It's silky. Sometimes I get so frustrated wondering what I look like. Is my eyeshadow all over my face? Am I wearing really nerdy clothes and I don't even know it? I've never seen you wear anything nerdy. You know what? I have this lipstick. Doesn't look very good on me. Too dark. But I bet it would look perfect on you. Here. Could you put it on for me? Perfect. Raspberry looks great. Raspberry. I'm trying to remember what that looks like. Let's see, imagine melting a red jelly bean together with a purple one. I know what that looks like. <laughs> <clears throat> Dr. Roberts? Dad? The operation was a success. Kelsey's fine. Can I take Kelsey home with me tonight? I'd like to keep her here overnight, but tomorrow she's all yours. She'll have to wear an Elizabethan collar for a while to keep her paw out of her eye, but that's all. Thank you, Dr. Roberts. Thanks. <laughs> well, anytime you want to dump me off the red rocket, you be my guest. Okay? Lori, you have done really well. And Kelsey, you're something else. I've got a present for you. Yeah. Good girl. Yeah. Linda. Hey, Lori. Um, if you're free, I'd really like to... Well, if you'd come to the camp dance with me, if you're free. Yeah? Who's asking? Michael J. Fox. Well, only if the back of your head looks like Mel Gibson. <laughs> <laughs>